And I'm concerned about finding out where she is and if she's alive. The pain and worry are real tonight for the family of a Cobb County woman last seen in February. Carrie Marie Jones is one of thousands of Native American women who go missing every year in the U.S., according to the FBI. And sadly, most of those cases remain unsolved. 11 Alive's Don White has the emotional plea from, from Carrie's family and what indigenous leaders are doing about this disturbing trend. The hustle and bustle of life fills the air in Marietta Square, but it's the silence leaving Carrie Marie Jones's family with a sense of dread. For Carrie to have nobody out there Praying for her, you know, that hurts me a lot. The FBI reports on average more than 5,000 Native American women go missing each year. Carrie is one of them. I think it was last year sometime was the last time I spoke with Carrie, and that was right after her mother was um, burned in the house. After Carrie's mom died in a fire, the 29-year-old experienced tragedy again, losing her father within the same year. Carrie's aunt, Janice McMillian, says that put her in a bad headspace. She's known to disappear for a couple of weeks, but never to be gone this long. Cobb County police say Carrie was supposed to meet a friend for dinner on February 13th here in Marietta. She didn't show, and investigators say there is no evidence of any confirmed communication from her since then. Janice says someone sent Carrie's cousin a message on social media last month claiming it was Carrie. Cobb County Police Sergeant Wayne Delk says detectives aren't convinced it's legit. Social media, anyone can sign in or create an account. Um, we, uh, people deal with this all the time, fake accounts in their own name. I'm, I'm horrified. I'm scared. Violet Lauren with the Atlanta Indigenous Peoples Association didn't expect to hear about a missing Native American woman this close to home. I've been following um, MMIWG cases for years now, being an Indigenous person, and I was under this feeling of like, okay, we don't have that here, we don't have to worry. The U.S. Census Bureau reports 71% of Native American women live in urban areas, just like Violet and Carrie. Danger still exists, so educating is paramount to helping people keep themselves safe. Whether it's the remnants of the High Tower Trail in Cobb County, or by raising awareness of her niece's disappearance, Janice hopes to increase visibility of the indigenous community. I understand the fear but somebody's got to speak up. She has a message for Carrie, who she lovingly called Blossom for her beautiful smile. Come home. Just come home. This house I'm in right now was her grandfather's home. If she needs us, we're here for her. The streets of Marietta are full of life. As Carrie's family prays, the unbearable silence will end. Dawn White, 11 Alive News.